How are you? What's Good, your name? How are you? Laura. Hello. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So congratulations on everything on the show and at Disney's. So can you tell me, when you're watching the scenes, yeah. how do you, what's the whole, what's your process when you're watching it and creating the music for it? You know, the, fir the only thing I really do is you just pay attention to what you're feeling when you're watching it. Like when you watch a something really intense or something beautiful or something mm -hmm. sad or something really unsettling. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always affected, you know, we're affected, yeah. you know, sometimes physiologically you're like, ah, you know, your heart rate goes up a little bit maybe, mm -hmm. or you make a noise. Like I just watched a movie another night where someone was hanging off a cliff and you know, you, you, you tense up yeah. and those things are, those are, those are in and of themselves perfect things because they're not manufactured. So those are the, um, those are the sort of points that I pay attention to from the point of view of composing music, how I feel. What is the scene about? And then musically trying to make a, a statement that supports it. The show has a lot of dy dy uh, um, dramatic scenes. Like Which one are you talking about? Uh, Homeland or Designated? There's both of them, really. Yeah, yeah. Both of them have dramatic. They do. Uh, You're right. I'm, I'm right now, I'm obsessed with Designated Survivor. I just finished hey. it, like the whole thing, and I because I love Keeper. Is he great? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and Kirkman. Oh my god, uh, but he's amazing. So for Are you me, going to the concert tonight because I'm doing a big scene of his. Oh, I'm conducting a big scene of his. So what would you say is your favorite scene when you were conduct do doing the music? What which one had the okay. most impact on there, you? There is there is one because I've worked on a lot of dark shows like 24 and Homeland and you know things that have a lot of uh, some violence or you know terrorism or. Mm -hmm. uh, but this show sometimes has very inspirational, uplifting messages where you try or, you know, you're, you know, despite ourselves, we're like, we're going, and, and Kiefer knows how to speak. There you go. And Kiefer knows how to, um, he really knows how to act and, 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 and emote so honestly. And so as a composer, working and scoring for him is probably one of the easier gigs in the city because he puts so much in there. So it's about getting out of the way of those kinds of performances. But I, those uplifting ones are kind of like, I'm, I'm a bit of a, of a, Schmaltzy guy. Okay. How about that? And then one for yourself as an artist. Yeah. How do you feel music plays a big part in the television show and the scenes? Well, it's a, it's, it's a, we're all um, ingredients, right? I mean, we're, we're as important as the costume designers, the lighting people. I mean, music, I think, is older than human language. You know, music is so inside of us, you know, in that without even any words. So. I think there's a power to music in particular, but it really needs to work with all the other acting, writing, and directing. If that's not there, uh, we really don't have much to do. So, so, and what's really cool about this concert, so much different kinds of music and so many different kinds of shows now. I mean, when you were a little baby girl, there was probably th three, three or four networks or something, and that was it. But now we're like in the hundreds and Netflix and Amazon and can't keep up. <laughs> Thank you so much, and congrats for tonight, too, and for everything, so thank you. you.